extend the joy of Christmas to the children of incarnation. Three, two, one. Good morning, Our Lady of Africa Church family. This is Keisha Chavers, your OLA Church family member. And I want to welcome all of you tuning in on Facebook Live on this first Sunday of Advent. December 1st was World AIDS Day, an international day of recognition of the fight that is still being fought to end HIV AIDS. Our HIV AIDS ministry of OLA has placed the AIDS quilt and the AIDS ribbon in the Marian Chapel of the church. Additionally, in the bulletin, there is a prayer for everyone affected by the HIV AIDS epidemic. We ask that you please pray the prayer found in your bulletin and keep all of our sisters, brothers, family, loved ones, and friends with HIV AIDS in your hearts and minds. Amen. First Communion will have their first class this Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Tolton Center. There is still time to register your child for First Communion. Please talk with Barbara Edwards Hill. Lisa Littleton or Eileen Fogey to begin the process of registration. There is confirmation class this Sunday at 1.30 p.m. also at the Tolton Center. The Blessed Sacrament Society is inviting all ministries of OLA to participate in a joint holiday party this coming Sunday, December 10th, immediately following the 11.30 a.m. Mass. The price for the meal is $25, and they ask that you please send in the monies to the Blessed Sacrament leaders by Wednesday, December 6th. Checks should be made payable to the Blessed Sacrament Society through Zelle at Blessed Sacrament Society at yahoo.com. For more information, please see the bulletin or speak with a Blessed Sacrament Society member. Angel Tree Christmas provides an opportunity for churches to extend the joy of Christmas to the children of incarcerated parents. We are having a gift drive for these youth who are in need of care and support through the holidays. Please bring your gifts to the church up and until the 19th of December. Your gifts will make a difference in the youth who are our future. Friday, December 8th is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception and is a holy day of obligation. We will have two Masses that day, the first at 10.30 a.m. and one in the evening at 6.30 p.m. Please note that we will not have adoration that day because of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Mark your calendars for Saturday, December 9th from 9 to 11.30 a.m. We will have a hope and healing circle that will be led by our very own Velma Hill. The circle is meant to offer a space for hope and healing for those who are dealing with grief and are in need of emotional support. To register for this confidential circle, please contact the parish office at 773-624-5375. 773-624-5375. There will be a turkey giveaway on December 16th at the parish. We will have 80 turkeys available. To get your turkey, please call the parish office and sign up. 40 turkeys will be available on December 16th, and 40 additional turkeys will be available for pickup between Monday, December 18th through Wednesday, December 20th. There is one turkey per household, and it is first come, first serve. Also, please take note that 100 
Christmas food bags will be donated by Mariano's and will be available at the church on the 16th of December as well. Again, first come, first serve. The Men's Coalition and their sponsors, the Buffalo Soldiers and Unison Consulting are hosting their annual Breakfast with Santa on Sunday, December 17th, immediately following the 11.30 a.m. Mass. Please RSVP by December 15th by calling the parish office between 8.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. and provide the child's name, age, and gender. You can also sign up in the Narthex. The gift wrapping party will take place on Saturday, December 16th from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you wish to donate toys, you can bring your unwrapped toys and place them in the red Christmas bin in the Narthex. If the ministry of Our Lady of Africa has impacted your life, please consider becoming a member and giving to fuel the ministry efforts of our faith community. You can do this easily by Zell using our email address, Our Lady of Africa Chicago at gmail.com. You can also go to our website, Our Lady of Africa Chicago.com, and click on the giving donate icon. These are the announcements for this week. For more, please go online to view our bulletin. God bless you and have a wonderful week. In Jesus' name.
His day of visitation and judgment will be swift and unexpected, urging, urging believers to stay vigilant. God's kingdom, both in the present and the future, echoing the disciples' plea for his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We must actively pray for the coming of God's kingdom and await its ultimate fulfillment and purpose. At today's Mass, we pray for Mrs. Zipporah in gratitude. Please stand and welcome our ministerial team for today's Holy Mass and join us in our gathering song, soon and very soon, found on number 691 in the evening God.
as we begin this Advent season, the beginning of our liturgical year, let us bless our Advent with, which signals our watching and waiting to prepare our hearts and our homes for our Savior Lord. Please extend your hands in blessing as we pray. Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Savior of every nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as we light the candles of this reef. May the reef and its light be a sign of Christ's promise to bring us salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
the result to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
reading in the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Son of Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed upon you in Christ Jesus, that in Him you were enriched in every way. With all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Just 
Use your hand. Do you have a watch? On the wrist, in the pocket, anywhere. No, there's a watch here. Yes. We all have a watch somehow. Otherwise, we don't know when it's mass, when am I going back home, what time I'm doing this or that. And so we have watches because we want to watch, watch time. And when we speak about time, we speak about the past, the present, and the future, right? And entering a new year, we call for watching. And that today means three things. One is an assessment of the past, two is a commitment to the present, and three is an openness to the surprises of the future. An assessment of the past. When we begin a new year, we try to look back to see how was our last year. And in the beginning of this reading today, the Isaiah, from Isaiah, we see that there is a complaint here. Somebody is telling God, God, you are our Father. You are our Redeemer. But why are you so far from us? Why did you go so far from me? So in the beginning, it said, if you are our Father, if you are our Redeemer, why all this? O oh Lord, why do you let us wander from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? And today I think we have sometimes that we think sometimes, God, why are you so far from me? This last year, where were you? We feel sometimes we're broken. And we look back in our year, we see there was no light sometimes. Sometimes I was alone. Sometimes I was bitter or misunderstand. Sometimes I felt rejected. There were problems last year. And I was feeling like God was away from me. God didn't help me to go through all these difficulties and problems I had last year. It can be with my family, it can be in my relationships, it can be in my work. And this first reading is telling that sometimes we feel that God is not with us. Sometimes we feel that God is away. And we take some decisions sometimes. We decide to take a break from God. We say, God, you know, it's, it's too much. I want to try something else. I want to go away because, you know, all these things with you, God, no, I'm, I'm tired. And you stop sometimes praying, you stop going to church, you stop doing everything you do, all your devotions, because you feel like, I mean, I don't feel God in my life. I don't see God anywhere. I see problems. I see difficulties. I see my kids are not understanding me. I see my husband and my wife who is rude with me. I see my colleagues who don't look at me. I see people who hate me. I see my neighbors. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's some neighbors who really are a pain. But, <laughs> and sometimes you can feel, yeah, it's about me, 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 me. I have problems. I'm the one who nobody talked to. I'm the one who that's okay. You can feel that sometimes. But when you pause, you look back, and you see despite all those problems, you are telling God. You can realize how the Lord has always watched over you and guided you. Even when you're not with Him, God is always following you. You run away, He's behind you. It's like, I will keep watching over you. Because I know you can't do it by yourself. So I will stay there. Even when you don't want me to come in, I will be there. And you will say in John, Behold, I'm standing on the front door. I'm knocking. If you open, I will come in. That's, that's wonderful about God. He respects our privacy. Sometimes we 
said, God, I don't want you in my life. Okay. But I will be here. Just in case you change your mind, I will be here. And today, this time of Advent, it's a call for us to pause, to look back, and to see how God was always there, watching for us. He was always there, telling us, son, daughter, you know how much I love you. I can never be away from you. I can never go away from you. And you look closely, you realize that I'm the one who went away from God. And the text is saying, today, Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. So we, we realize that we are sinful. I'm away from God, not because of God, but because of my sins. My sins took me away from God. And now I want to come back. I want to return to my Father. I want to go back home. And one of the ways to go back home is by starting coming back to the church starting reflecting on our lives. And if we think about it, we can ask ourselves today, how often do I watch over the people God gave me? How often do I watch over my community, my colleagues? How often do I watch over so today is the day we come back to God. It's the day God calling us, come back. And how we come back? We come back with a commitment. We come back with a commitment that God, you be in charge. I try to be in charge of my life. I try to say, I can do this. And I realize I can't, of course, I can't. Because I'm only human and I'm limited. And I need that extra power. I need that booster. And so when I come back to God, I come back as clay. I present myself to God as clay, knowing God is the potter. And I say to God, God, here I am. Deal with me according to your entire will. Because I try to be strong, but I realize I'm not that strong. I try to be by myself. I realize I need you. I try to do things, but everything I was doing was taking me far away. And now I'm hopeless. Now I'm frustrated. Now I'm angry. And I need you to reshape me. I need you to give me the shape that you want me to have. Because I know the shape you give me will be in your image and your likeness. The shape you give me would be perfect because everything you do, God, is perfect. And we know that from the book of Genesis. Everything God created is perfect. And so today we're coming back to God. And we can see in the first reading, we're coming from, if Lord you are our Father, our Redeemer, to yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. It's, it's a realization. I'm realizing that God, you are my father, and I'm the clay in your hands. I am the work of your hands. So I'm no longer questioning God if you are. I'm saying, God, you are. And because you are, I will let myself, I will surrender myself into your hands. I trust you. I trust the shape you give me. I'm fragile, yes, but I know with you I'll be made of steel. There is this paradox here between steel and clay. We know clay is fragile, steel is strong. And the same we say that in this uh, second reading today, no, not the second reading, the psalm. May your help will be, be with the man of your right hand with the Son of Man, whom yourself made strong. So with God, our weaknesses are not a fate, they are opportunities to become strong. When I'm going 
going through difficulties, when I surrender to God, those difficulties become doors for me that open up to growth, that open up to well-being. And so as we commit ourselves to God, we open our heart to the surprises. A new year comes with surprises. We can be uncertain of what will happen. We can be anxious because we don't know what will happen to us. But if we let God be in charge, if we surrender ourselves as clay into the hand of God, then all the surprises of this new year will not shame us. All the difficulties we can go through will not pull us down. We stand strong. We stand strong because we know in whom we put our confidence. We stand strong because God will be always with us. Because we'll be guided by the Holy Spirit. And so brothers and sisters, as we're praying today, and especially for those of us who are struggling, those of us who are going through hard time, let us remember that God is always there. Let us remember that no matter how dark our life can look like, no matter how dark our path is, there is always light. The light of God is always there. Jesus is always knocking on our doors. So let's try, in this time of Advent, to keep our hearts open. Let us try to be aware of God's presence. And let us, let us continue to pray for those who are struggling with sicknesses, especially today as we're praying for those who are affected or infected with AIDS, HIV, that they may find God's healing, that they may experience that presence of God. And let us continue to pray for ourselves, that every day in our lives we may know that God always watch over us. Amen. Thank you. 
coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters, let us with renewed devotion beseech his mercy that as he came into the world to bring the good news to the poor and heal the contrite of heart, so in our own time also he may bring salvation to all in need. <coughs>
And now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the For the grace and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Accept we pray of all these offerings we make. Gather from among your gifts to us. And may you want to grant us to celebrate the birthday here below. Gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith.
Let us pray. May this mystery, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us to pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. To our Lord Jesus Christ, his Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for us to announce. Please pray the prayer. Fine. 
around me your bulletin and keep all our sisters and brothers, family, loved ones, and friends with HIV AIDS in your hearts and minds. Amen. There is confirmation class today at 1.30 at the Tolton Center. The Blessed Sacrament Society is inviting all ministers of Our Lady of Africa to participate in a joint holiday party this coming Sunday, December the 10th, immediately following this Mass. The price for the meal is $25, and they ask that you please send in the monies to the Blessed Sacrament Society leaders by Wednesday, December 6th. Checks should be payable to the Blessed Sacrament Society, and you can also pay through Zelle. The address, the email address is Blessed Sacrament Society at Yahoo.com. For more information, please read the bulletin or speak with a Blessed Sacrament Society member. Friday, December 8th, is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception and is a holy day of obligation. We will have two masses that day, the first at 10.30 a.m. and one in the evening at 6.30 p.m. Please note that we will not have the evening adoration that day because of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Please mark your calendars for Saturday, December 9th. From 9 to 11 a.m., we will have a hope and healing service that will be led by our very own Mrs. Bell Hill. The circle is meant to offer a space for hope and healing for those who are dealing with grief and are in need of emotional support. To register, to register for this confidential circle, please contact the parish office at 773-624-5375. There will be a turkey giveaway on December 16th here at the parish. We will have 80 turkeys available. To get your turkey, please call the parish office and sign up. 40 turkeys will be available on December 16th, and 40 additional turkeys will be available for pickup between Monday, December 18th, and Wednesday, December 20th. There's one turkey per household, first come, first serve. Also, please take note that 100 Christmas food bags will be donated by Mariano's and will be available at the church on the 16th of December as well. Again, first come, first serve. Angel Tree Christmas provides an opportunity for churches to extend the joy of Christmas to the children of incarcerated parents. We are having a gift drive for these youth who are in need of care and support through the holidays. Please bring your gifts to the church up until December the 19th. Your gift will make a difference in the future in the youth. Excuse me, your gifts will make a difference in the youth who are our future. Let me see the last one. Jackson Lucas, I'm doing this one for you, Jackson. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs>
you for worshiping with us, and we hope to see you next Sunday. Thank you. And, church, please, let us acknowledge Father Passion for worshiping with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace we have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the righteousness of Christ Advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As we run the race of this present life, May he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that, rejoicing now in devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be adorned with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you 